morning, everyone. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. Boy, is this summer turning out to be a real charmer. So what'd you do? Did you go somewhere? Did you stay home? Did you take your pet? If you did, and you took your pet with you, hope you followed these five simple guidelines. First of all, before you do anything, check those leashes, collars, harnesses, crates, carriers, anything that you may be needing to keep your animal safe and close to you while you're traveling. Make sure everything is in good working condition. Nothing is glued, taped, bungee corded. I know everyone's chuckling, but I've seen it. Make sure if you need to replace it, now's a good time to do it. Also keep in mind, next step is when you examine those collars, Make sure your ID tags have name, number, addresses, phone numbers that are all up to date. Not last year's phone number, the phone number that was disconnected from your third great aunt, everything up to date. So take your time, make sure everything is up to date. You may even want to consider buying one of those new fashionable collars where they can actually embroider the information right on the collar. Make sure your microchip is also the information is all up to date most of these are all online accessible nowadays double check it just to make sure that everything's up to date it's so easy to remember it was in your last boyfriend's address keep in mind that now is a good time to have your pet visit your vet make sure any health certificates any vaccinations any year-round medications are all updated. You have a health certificate in hand. It generally needs to be done within 10 days of at least traveling on an airline. But for whatever mode of transportation you're using to get to your vacation destination, make sure you double check with exactly what paperwork, what proof of vaccinations you're going to need. You may also want to discuss with your vet exactly how well your pet travels, you may want to discuss any behavioral issues your pet may be experiencing. Tranquilizers are not always the answer. In some cases, they're fantastic. But in other cases, there are so many new options of modalities, including collars, homeopathics, <laughs> probiotics. There are so many different varieties of things to help keep your pet calm. It may be something that you may want to discuss with your vet before you just simply call up and ask for sedatives. Keep in mind that any sort of traveling, whether it's by plane, by train, by car, by boat, it's a stressful time for your pet, even if they happen to enjoy it. So keep in mind, your main goal is during your mode of travel, try to keep your pet calm. Of course, keep yourself calm as well. That will always help. Enjoy the summer, folks. Hopefully, we're treated to weather that we've had up until this point. Keep it safe. Keep it healthy. Until next time.